What's up guys? How you doing today? Welcome to another episode of JDTV. Co! And I know, we've been neglecting you guys a little bit lately, but I can explain why. You see, this is basically, at most times, a two-man show. And a lot of times, it's a one-man show. Yes. Right? As of late, it's most of it a one-man show. A one-man show. But that's okay. That's okay because I'm winding down my Thursdays. Yes. I'm going to cease and desist on my Thursdays. Speaking of cease and desist, Nick, quick question. Did you ever see these before? Yeah. What are you? GDT goes six and one pliers. Oh, what did you say? Six and one. Don't say that. Why? <laughs> Guys, these are our JDT go six and one pliers, and these I tell you we've we sold a lot of these, right? A lot. Oh yeah. And if you, if, if you go through YouTube, you'll see a lot of guys doing reviews on these things, and these are really really nice. And uh, we got a cease and desist in, in the mail last week. A cease and desist for six and one, six and one. And I always say we're gonna wallpaper. The office in the back would only cease and desist because we got a few of them. Trust me, a bunch of them actually. And I said to him, I go, you know, I, I like a good cease and desist because I mean it means you're doing your job. But I mean, like, this place makes hoses or some shit, right? Yeah. Six in one hoses. And he sent me a cease and desist because I'm selling hoses that are set, that say six in one on it. We're like, hey, dude, we don't even I don't even know what you're talking about. We sell pliers, right? Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, like, like I said, I mean, you know, I, I get it, but that one I don't even deserve. Wait till he tries to, to sue us and he finds out we're broke. Yeah, he's he's going to sue us and he find out these guys got no money anyway. Anyway, listen to me. But this, this is a good deal. We sold we sold a lot of... I know how many of these we sold too, actually. I'm not going to say, but we sold a lot of these. How much are these? Uh, 25 bucks. If you pair it up with this, how much is it? 33 $33. And this is a mini pry bar and a 6 and one and and if and if the, if it's by itself, what do you call it? This is this is what this six is. and one pliers. Okay, and what is this? That's a magnetic mini pry bar. Okay, and if you put them together, what is it? The Almighty Power Stroke Jude deal. <laughs> Shout out Power Stroke Jude! If you're not following him, you're not sub to him. Please do. He's a good guy out of California. He's a family man, and he's a mechanic, and he loves the color green. Right? Big green guy. Big green guy. Big big green guy. Okay, Jude. He's a good guy. I like, I like that guy. Speaking of green, does uh, does anybody else in the world besides me make green boots for Milwaukee Tools? I don't think so. No, they don't. I do. You're mine. And where are these made? USA. USA. Which state? Oregon. Oregon. Last I checked, that's one of the uh, 50. And we got these bat straps, right? Oh. Is it still though? <laughs> you know, it might be 49 soon. Um, and then we got our battery straps. Nice. And this will save your this will save your tool's life. Yeah. And where's this made? Those are made in America. America. So we got some JDT Go has some stuff made in Taiwan, China. We we, we go all over the place. USA. You have but to. You, you have, have to. These days. these days you have to. But you know it's funny because like a lot of guys are like, oh you sell Chinese shit. JDT Go sells more made in USA tools than Snap on does. Now think about it. We probably have about eighty part numbers that are just our tools, right? Probably about that. Yeah. And I guarantee, I'm gonna, I'm gonna count everything up individually and break it down and give you an exact percentage of made in USA tools we sell compared to import. <clears throat> I'm really gonna aggravate people with that. I don't care, Nick. I don't care, because I'm here to set the straight. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to set the record straight. And I guarantee you go on that Snap-on guy's truck, and I guarantee you, percentage-wise, I have more made in USA tools in my store with my name on them than he does with Snap-on on there. What do you think about that? That's a bold claim. I don't care. I made it, okay? I'm, I'm here, I'm here to tell these guys the truth. Not them corporate bullshit lies that are being jammed down their throat every day. Okay. They're being lied to. They're being manipulated by the market. All right, we just came out with these. JD Tico, oil, adjustable oil filter pliers, right? Yeah. Got her name on them and a partner on there. How much are these? $23. That's a good deal. That's I, th I think that's a nice deal. Yeah. And I like them. They're very, very nice. And we, we got a bunch of them. A bunch of them. Hundreds. And hundreds of them. So, if you want, send it. We need to get rid of these. We need shelf space around here. Okay. We got we to deal on these? Oh, let me tell you something, guys. I'm a Jerry Shaler. I mean, I mean is, is, there, is, is there even such a thing anymore? Probably not, right? No. Okay. I, I sell gear wrench. Try to sell gear wrench. I try to sell gear wrench. But right now, you can't get nothing from gear wrench. Let me tell you something, guys. 
while I have you here, let, let me let you let, let me let you in on a little life lesson with tool with, with being a mechanic. Now, torques are very fragile sockets, and they tend to break a lot. I don't care what brand you you buy, okay? But the the truth of the matter is, you only ever break one. You know what size it is? T forty. T forty. Everybody breaks the T40, everybody. And whenever my customers walk on a truck with a broken T40, no matter what brand it is, we sell a bunch of different, a bunch of different brands. We sell Vim, OTC, Gear Wrench. Uh, help me out here. What else? I don't know, maybe that's all of them. I think that's all of them. That's all of them? Anyway. Well, Astro makes the- Astro. The impact torques are pretty Man, nice. everybody makes, everybody makes them. But listen to me, that's not, the, that's not the point of the story. The point of the story is, everybody walks on a truck with two broken ones. Because they put the, the regular torques in there, right? The T40 and they break it. So what do they do? They go grab the one with the hole in it, the tamper-proof one, because if this, the solid steel one broke, you know, maybe the hollow one will be better. What happens? They break that one too. They break that one too. And I don't care. They're guaranteed for life. And we, we will gladly exchange. I keep a box of them on my truck at all times. But the problem is you can't get them anymore. There's, no, there's, a, there, there's a little bit of a tool shortage going on, guys. And we've talked about it and it's, it's not it's not getting easy right now to get tools, right? No, especially gear wrench. Oh my god, I don't know what the I mean, you know, listen, what do I know? They uh they, they seem to know know everything and you know they're uh you know branching out their uh their their uh distribution system. Yeah. I don't wanna talk about it. You know, it's a special <laughs> I don't care, guys. Listen man. Uh, I I'm I'm uh I'm on a back nine chipping in, you know what I'm saying to you? At least Milwaukee has stuff. At least Milwaukee has tools. That's a good company, okay? I like them. However, they both have sent me cease and desist through the years, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not holding any grudges. <laughs> and listen to me. What is this? So 50 quarter piece, inch, quarter master inch, set. master set, deep, shallow, metric, standard? Yeah. Everything? Yeah. Quanto esto amigo? I think 105. Really? That's cheap. 105. And that's a nice set. If it's we the only quarter inch. Set you're gonna As a see. matter of fact, do you have a bunch of them here? Because I have zero sets of quarter inch sockets yeah. on my truck. Zero. Zero. I got a. Uh, so I got like two three eights, and I had I sold my last quarter inch yesterday. So you know what the sector said? Put me in, coach. All right, let me tell you about class guys. Do you want to hear about class guys? Today? You know any class class act guys? Sure. Do you really? Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you about a class act guy. The other day I had to go. I, I had to go shop with my wife. I had to go to. The jewelry store to get something, right? So we went out to dinner. So I was sitting here, I went to Bonefish Grill. I like that. I'm not a big restaurant chain guy, but I'm at the Bonefish Grill. And my buddy's texting me, Mark. You know Mark? Yeah. Who's Mark? There's another uh, tool dealer. Is he a good guy? Yeah, he's a good guy. <laughs> he's a good guy. How long? How long? The hell was that? Oh, hang on, guys. That, that's important. I need, I need to get that. We got to talk about this too. Ooh, let me put that back. Oh, let me hold it. So, uh, so, uh, so, you know, I'm talking to him, you know, blah, blah, blah. And at the end of the night, I go to pay my bill. The, guy, the, 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 the bartender goes, uh, somebody paid your bill already. Oh. I go, who paid my bill? He goes, your brother from another mother paid your bill. <laughs> <laughs> so, shout out Mark Holden. That's a class thing to do. And he's done it a few times, and I've done it with him. And he's just a good guy. And I want to get him on this show, because you want to see a, an out-of-control lunatic? You think it's me? It's not. It's him. He, does, he runs a pretty cool thing, too. He does. He, uh... He's got a little uh, van. He's got a, what's that, a Freightliner? Like a Freightliner van, and uh, it's loaded. I guarantee he's got more. He's got a lot of tools. He's on got that. a lot of tools in that truck. He's got more tools in that truck than uh, your, your dealer that's pulled in your shop today. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Hang on. He's got a lot of tools. He's got a lot of tools. So I've been trying to come out with a light to compete with the Cyclops light, right? Yeah. Because I hate the, I hate the owner of the company thinks he's an asshole. Moron? Illiterate? Well, the, the, Which one? Which one? The, I don't want I don't want to talk bad about the idiot. <laughs> the most slow of people <laughs> that we had to talk to. Did the oh, owner call you? The owner's son called me. Oh. What a fucking idiot. The, I owner's, know. the owner was a nice guy. The owner was a nice guy. Listen, they, Cyclops makes green lights because Nick Morello told him to. In yellow. In yellow because I told him to, right? I met him at a show. We talked and he's like, dude, I'm, I'm going to make these in green. So he's not a bad guy. His idiot son, I, I ain't big on that kid, right? Yeah, they weren't very nice to they us. They weren't nice to us. And I sell a lot of their product and still do. We got a whole boatload of them in the back. A whole boatload of them. And their prices are going up. They used to be, they used to be cheap. Now they're expensive. That they, light's expensive. That light's expensive now. Good news, guys. I finally found it. Okay? This is the prototype. This isn't done yet. 
because this is going to get a little bit of a, a revamping and I'm not going to say what we're doing to it but they should be here shortly these are about 40 days out and uh, we're going to post them up and we're going to be mar we're going to be priced right and it's going to be, have a unique feature that I don't think any other lightning industry has Nick do you I don't know I don't think so I don't think so I think we're I think we're onto something. This might be the one. Okay? Maybe I can, uh, I don't know, maybe I can uh, buy myself something nice to make a few dollars. Maybe. This YouTube shit don't pay nothing. I can't even buy dinner with this shit. Right? No. Speaking of dinner, how was dinner last night? We went out to dinner last night. We did a JD Tico Christmas party, which is just me, Nick, and my, and my wife. How was that? It was good. It was good, right? And right now we have a unique situation going on, going on at JD Tico too because we just recently hired two guys. Two. Two guys. Two more guys. So it's going to be four people but like it's they're they're both ones in the army ones in school and their schedules are conflicting like so I, 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 and i might have hired another girl too a girl a girl a girl okay. i gotta send shoot I, i'll tell you later but anyway i i ha might have another person so we're gonna have like 10 people working in the store and we're probably gonna go out of business with that many salaries but that what do you end up we had a good run All right or maybe some more tools or maybe some more tools i like that i like that idea Maybe we can get the website firing on all cylinders, put more stuff on, get more stuff on the app. Well, we need inventory. More cat. Well, these warehouses yeah. need inventory. But we do have some inventory here. Yeah, we, we do. do. We, do got some, we do have inventory here. We have these, a lot of these, right? Yeah. These will be here soon. These are going to be sexy. Wait till you see this. This is going to be. I, I'm very. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to just, just wait. Right? Wait. Well, we're going to post it. I'm not, I can't post it until it's done. It's it's not it's got it's not gonna look like this when we're done with it. It's got some subtle changes coming. Yeah. Right. Yeah. My guys want different stuff. Anybody can make a light. Okay. We're gonna make it a better light. We're gonna help it in its journey. Yeah. Right. Okay. So what else? Oh, so what? So Nick, what did where'd you where'd you go last weekend? I went to the uh, Army Navy football game. How was that? It was pretty cool. Oh shit! Yeah, we have, we have you know we have me and Nick both have a friend. His name is Evan, right? And he uh, is in the army, West Point. Yeah, West Point grad. West Point grad, and he's a lieutenant, and he's he's in Texas now, right? He's in Texas. But he flew up. He had to do something. He had a this kid is insane. I swear to God, he's a car guy. He's 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 got a nine twelve Porsche. Yeah, you talk about someone you need on the show. Yeah, I would. <laughs> he'd be fun. He'd be fun to be here. But yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a car collector. He he's driving. He, hey, let me tell you a story. He graduated at West Point. Okay, so they he, they couldn't do the graduation at West Point because of COVID. You can't you couldn't invite any family members. So he, we were on a list to go, which yes. is awesome. Okay, but he had a party at his house and we went to the party at his house. Now here he is, a West Point grad, right? In his full dress blues, you call that, I guess, right? Full dress blues, and he's he has a, a, a Porsche. What year is that? Do you know? I think it's like a 68, 69. Yeah, a Porsche 912. We got it wrong. We got it wrong, but it, it's his baby. So now he's in this full dress blues at his graduation party, and he's like, oh, let me let me show you my car so you can, what, what I'm doing to it. Now we're in his garage, okay, and he's got the cylinder heads in his hand and the pistons in his hand, and he's covered in grease. I'm like, Evan, Evan, please put it down. You got your uniform on. I, I don't care. He's like, I'm just going to show you these. And he's literally... Covered in grease and oil now with his West Point graduation dress blues on. Yeah. Is that a true story? It's true. That's a true story. And Evan Evan is one of those kids. I mean, he's he's a clean person, but his hands are always covered <laughs> in grease. He don't care. He don't care. And in fact, he flew up here, bought a Ford pickup truck. 1983 F-150. Is that easy? Yeah. <laughs> An 83 F-150 complete with cap. It's sweet. It's just, it's, it's, Look at a picture of it. <laughs> you should put a picture on it. And he's driving it, not too far. I mean, it's an 83. I mean, it's got some experience to it. He's driving it from New Jersey to Texas. <laughs> I mean, he's insane. He's insane. I mean, insane. Anyway, he's in the uh, the, the, the armor, armored division, right? Yeah, he does some armored stuff. Some armored right. stuff. Shout, shout out. All right, and the new guy we have is uh, the new employee. Well, you know, we're hopefully we'll get you on here to meet him. He's a nice guy. I don't know how long he's going to be here for. He's, I don't know if it's going to be a temporary. I, I, you know, we we don't know yet what his plans are. But you know, we need people to pack tools. We need people. Let me tell you something. I, if you got one of these from us for our last giveaway, okay, I can assure you one thing, right? I put an envelope. Yes. 
I did like two. <laughs> I put in the envelope. I sealed the envelope. I put the label on it. Me. I don't think we got any winners yet. Yeah, now somebody, yeah, somebody, somebody, somebody posted on Facebook. They won the. Uh, oh, cool. I think they won it. Nice. I think that. Yeah, we did. We did a big giveaway. It, 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 and again, we try to get it on a video. We did a short, short about it, but we try to get it on a, a, a big video. We're way too busy. But, I mean, like you know, it's just like we we ship. We sell a lot of tools here. I mean, people don't understand. It's me and Nick, and I'm still in the tool truck three days a week. So we sold out of these. These are the last four known in existence. And I, can I keep one? I like to have one of every tool we make in, in my in my. So I can put it like my my Nick Rowland museum. I don't have them posted, so. Okay, good. So I'm gonna keep these. I want one. This is the famous Jasper. JD Tico, Jasper, one, two, three. Put your Jaspers on there. All right, so let, let's reiterate. JD Tico sells more USA tools than, than, than Snap-on, probably. Yeah, those aren't made in USA. These ain't made in USA. No. These ain't. That is. <laughs> and these are assembled in USA by me. Okay? You keep, no, let me tell you something. I'm the only person in the world with mini pry bars with magnets in the end. That's a true story. Your, you know, your local Snap-on dealer, Mako dealer, Mac, they might have them, but nobody has a magnet, and ours does. And this is a five-pound magnet. We'll pick up. We'll pick up five pounds. You see, everyone's making a big deal about the new. What? Uh, what are that? Mako. They're in business though. Yeah. Are they? Well, I mean, Lag, I, didn't, I didn't know. Lag makes their new mini pry bars. They're pretty nice. Oh but... yeah. Be ashamed if somebody copied them. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> when the exclusive runs out, I'm sure we'll. Yeah, we're all gonna sell them because the tool business is a bunch of whores on every level. Every part of the tool industry is whores. The the manufacturers, the companies, the dealers, everybody, everybody. And I, 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 I hear my new idea. I want to come out with in the new year. What's that? I'm gonna every you know everybody wants to be a tool dealer, right? Everybody want everybody watching me says I want to be a tool dealer. They all say it, right? And I'm like, it's not easy, guys. Oh no, I still want to do it. So we're gonna we're gonna we're coming out with something new. It's gonna be we're gonna call it the So I wanna be a tool dealer 10 packs. We're gonna say 10, 10, 10 things you can walk around your local shop and sell and see if you can be a tool dealer. Right? I'm drawing a line in the sand. I'll put what? That's crazy. That's crazy, but I'm doing it because I don't care. Because these guys all want to be tool dealers, put your money where your mouth is. Buy 10 of these and go sell the goddamn things. Right? I'll give you a deal on 10 of them. You go sell them. Right? You want to be a tool dealer? You think you got the balls to walk in a shop cold to strangers? No, sell them to your friends. Let's start there. What? That's a rough one. That's a rough I one. Did it a little bit. You did a little bit. Of course you did. You walk into a shop cold. They don't know if you're a crackhead. They don't know if you're a fucking a thief. They don't you know. You walk into them. a shop to deliver something. They look like you're. Like, yeah. Like crazy. So you want to be a tool dealer? Step up. Step it up, kid. Let's go. Let's see what you got. Help me in, coach. What? I think we a good idea. I think, uh, no. You don't like it? I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, you can post that on the website. I'll post that shit. I don't care. You want to be a tool dealer? Put your money where your mouth is. What? Remember the guy in California? I bet you he can do it. Right? Oh, I don't know. I'm not going to spend $500 on tools. But you want to spend 100 Not around. 1000 Right? I'm retiring. Yeah, listen, man. I don't want to. I'm ready for the world to burn down so I can stay home for a couple days. <laughs> hey, speaking of staying home for a couple days... I may or may not be away next week, but that's okay. JD Tico will still be running full swing, posting deals, we and hope. shipping tools. We hope. We hope. But I'm going to be a. Yeah, I'll be gone. Jetting out. Nick's staying. I'm no, going. No. Nick's. Nick's. I'm good. We both can't go. There's no way. It's impossible. What else has to take one for the team, Nick? I think we'll you just got back from Europe. I don't care. He, he just got back from Europe. Right? I don't care. You going again? Yeah. You like Europe? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I wish I can go. All right, then you go, I stay. All right, listen to me. Guys, wait till you see it. I did a good job on this one. I promise you. Okay? 1,000 looms in your hand. It's going to be like God shining his light down it's on you. It's 1,000 looms? It's 1,000 looms, kid. Hmm. It's the world's brightest light. I made it. And I'm not done with it. It's going to get better. Okay? All right. All right, listen, guys. All I'm going to say is wait. I got some big stuff coming. I got more stuff coming. And this show is not done yet. Like we always say right here, come for a price, stay for the show. Peace!